basically got to the point now where we can see over the clouds. If I'd slipped off, I'd be, it'd take a while to hit bottom, wouldn't it? This is a Col de la Machine. It's a new day, Mediterranean. Absolutely fantastic. Jamais pas poli. On the Deauville. You got this massive body of water that is Lake Geneva. We're in a different country. We've just gone international, haven't we? <laughs> Ooh, crying. Hello. We're flipping rolling. You see me? Ooh. Uh. Good job that verge is there. Could have been off edge. Rolled up it I did. And parking. So this is Col de, Col de la Bonnet. The iced paved road in uh, Europe. Tour leader Mark. Mark Sadler. Cracking motorcycle teacher. Oh, trying to figure out why it's not moving. I haven't even started it yet. Let's flip and get cracking. Back down we go. On the other side. On the other side. I think it's the highest paved road in Europe. Might be the second. I'll do a quick Google search. Got a bit of a draft. Up me backside. Well, up me back. Yeah, well, technically, up me backside, innit? The side that is my back. Ooh. Bit of a bump there. Basically, just engine braking all the way down. Enjoy it, view. And these roads. And the bikes. Twisting around the, the bends, it's, it's just fantastic. It's great to watch the bikes going around bends. Just gonna lug it around in high gear. It's nice and gentle. Nice. Oh yeah, we're gonna be going down to the Mediterranean coast, that's where we end up today. Nice. So we'll cross back over now. Look at that, look at that road winding down there. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Just taking it all in again. It's all you can do, isn't it? Looking at the, the silhouette at mountains in distance, it's uh Getting a bit of a whistle through me, I wondered what that was then. I'm like, flipping wheel bearings gone or something. Just look at that view though. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It's gotta be done, folks. Ooh! <laughs> Quick picky. It's all right there. It's all right. I've got your AD. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'll look into distance. It'll be all philosophical and stuff. Absolutely fantastic. Get one of the old Deville. Get it for Graham. Bumpy, bumpy. <laughs> Indicator are on. I need like an air horn, one of those musical horns that you press a button and it plays like a a tune or something, don't I? That'll be good. I don't think they're very legal though. Them things you see at truck shows, isn't it? Oh, 
We've got plenty of open road now. We've got our own pace. Enjoy the mountains and roads. Nice and gentle. We're in no rush. No rush to get down. Sorry if it's a bit blowy. Um, I am up a mountain. I'm up a bloody French mountain here, folks. Oh god, I'm on edge. I'm on edge. I gave him an English nod then by accident. Oh, it's a good one, that. Don't fall off the edge, you're dead close! Yeah! Ooh! I don't get any closer to edge. <laughs> Coughing me bloody guts up again in the thin air. Look at that road down there though. I've got the old Insta on, that 360 camera, so I don't need to look at it to get a good shot of it. I'll pan the camera around, that's if I've turned it on. I don't go any faster. You'll get a good shot of the old uh, GTR behind me. With some mountains behind it and, and stuff like that, all that all that good stuff. It's got a tad faster. It's just a bit scary being on edge of these cliffs like this. Look at this. You just don't know what's what's right next corner, do you? Could be a flipping road, could be a cliff. No, it's a flipping long way down. Makes you wonder though, doesn't it, how many people have gone off edge. Going a bit too hot and spicy. So it only takes one low side and that's it. Flipping bike's gone. That's not getting rolled into the garage later on, is it? Bit no left of it. Be as good as flipping sprite cans. Absolutely fantastic. Look at these winding roads though, going down mountain. It's absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And these, look at the road hugging side at mountain. Just looks amazing. It's bloody phenomenal. Snow coming. Try and get some banking done over this corner. Watch my head on that post. What was that noise? Did something fall off my bike? I heard a worrying noise. I'm sure AD would have uh, flagged me down if something fell off. Absolutely fantastic this is. Camera's still on, isn't it? Yeah. Don't want that falling off. I'll have to remortgage. Get another. Yeah, what it was with these cameras, I I think I mentioned it, but I had the seven. Used it a fair bit. Not 
not overly like I mean it's just an action camera isn't it just it did the same thing as me before but with a bit of a bit more smoothness the batteries were crap on it uh, just couldn't really use it as a main camera couldn't plug mic into it it just seemed a bit pointless to have and I wanted a, a new camera I wanted a new DSLR or a, a mirrorless or something like that digital camera because uh, the one I'm using my D200 I mean it's 20 year old pretty much now huh? and all the sensors need cleaning on it and it still gets good pictures mind you although I've got a good eye for it good eye for photography um, wanted a new mirrorless or digital but I mean looking at a couple well, oh, well over a thousand pounds for something like that even if you financed it it's still a hard pill to swallow then I thought oh should I get another action camera could get rid of me seven I had a look into it that d new drift it seemed a bit mm, not great all right as like a something like I've got on front of bike that get up as a dash cam but apart from that it didn't really wow me um, or reviews didn't so then I got on to thinking going on this big trip be a shame to do it and then think I imagine if I had a 360 camera when I went around the mountains and uh, see I, I don't know when next time I might do something like this is if ever once in a lifetime sort of thing this is uh, especially on a, a bike of this age and you don't know how long it's going to be running again for like might might not be working next year might blow up but yeah so I'm going to thinking getting these 360 cameras I looked at what were an offer a GoPro one didn't really tickle me fancy so to speak uh, but these instas did and the uh, the R the one that's square didn't really like that because it was all like flipping like you could take it apart like Lego I don't, I don't really like the idea of that it just seems like a lot more that, that can fail so the original one when it, the insta first came out the fact that it won't waterproof and all that stuff it co completely put me off it. it seems pointless to have a camera on a bike that's not waterproof but um, there you go but then they brought the X2 out and that TikTok box is flipping it. Flipping it, mate. What are you doing? Yeah, pull your trousers now. You got a wedgie? But yeah, so um, I ended up investing in one. Got a quite a spicy deal on it. Went for one at Best Packages as well. Got all these spare batteries, charge it a lot. These big sticks. Although I forgot I had one that sticks on back at bite yesterday and flipping open my top box and put a fat scratch in it. Well, yeah. you live and you learn. I'm not used to all these big poles flipping scaffolding on back at bite. You take it steady around these airpins. Um, so yeah, I sold the, the Eero 7 actually for more money than I bought it for, quite a bit. I'm quite chuffed with that. And then, yeah, I've got this 361 now. And I'm having an alright time watching footage back. It seems alright. Still trying to figure out the good camera angles and all that, but stuff like this anywhere on bike will do, really. I quite like the idea of it looking over my shoulder, though. It's like you sat on back at bike, I hope. Um, be a nice little camera angle, I think. But we'll have to wait and see, see what people say, and if they say, oh, bully, it's bands, uh, I'll change it. Although it's difficult, with the long sticks and stuff for it, it's difficult to put it somewhere where it's safe, at the same time as a good angle. Because, um, especially on roads like this, you can't have it hanging off bike, it'll be scraping floor. Flipping and getting my knee down, aren't I, like this? Flipping, heck. Yeah, so, um, so uh, I've just got it directly pointed up at the minute, plus having it not vertical or uh, horizontal or whatever the, it, with it wobbling it's flipping moving on balls it's like these balls that you grip onto to mount it it will flipping moving it will getting lower and lower what, what's going on here tightened them up as much as I could flipping balls look like ovals now um, but yeah, directly up it seems alright. Good camera angle as well, it looks like you sat on my shoulder. Me little cameraman on my shoulder, aren't you? Absolutely fantastic this is. Cold de la bonnet. 
10 out of 10. Uh, 10 out of 10. Don't even need music on. Just taking it all in while I talk about bloody cameras and boring stuff. <laughs> I thought I'd just tell you about it. 